<laughs> it is like a Mexican party because uh, you know today is uh, September 16th. <gasps> so they're gonna scream? Viva Mexico! Yeah. And shout and let it all out. Un aplauso para nuestro jefe de policía, Chip Torres. Uh, él me dice, yo soy el Cherry Lake, pero le digo, tú haces mejor trabajo, tú, tú síguele hasta que Dios te siga poniendo allí. So, gracias a Dios por él. Okay, everybody, as you could see, we've been here for like 40 minutes. We're done, that was it. Over here, they had like seven different businesses. They were selling beer, tacos, and random stuff, some insurance companies. And over there, they had like a little, uh, how do you call it, artesanías, like handmade stuff. And that was that, like there was literally not much. I guess the, the horse show, that was, that was pretty cool. Yeah, the horse show, what else? I thought they'd have more events for like kids, maybe a couple rides or something, but. I guess today, September 16th, oh, yeah. is the 10th anniversary of when Kareni and I moved to the States. Yep. I mean, she was born in here, right? But she went to Mexico. She was like, hey dude, let's go. And I was like, nah, I don't think so fam. And she was like, come on, let's go. September 16th, 2013, 10 years from now. Oh, wait. 10 years from now, sorry. 10 years ago. And we've been married how many? Uh, nine. Nine? It's gonna be our 10th anniversary on February, February. 10th. Yeah, I can't believe it. Like, that's, that's old people shit right there. Double digits married. We gotta get a divorce and get married again, so. Remarry? Yeah, so it doesn't sound that much. I guess. <laughs> before we need to get, uh, we need to get a divorce before February 10th. Uh, if you know a judge, sorry, no, an attorney that can perform that, <laughs> please let us know. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, I'm telling you, right? Not real. <laughs> so today is actually Max's birthday, and for his birthday, we were gonna take him to the doctor to do his his one year checkup, and also because he's been having like little rashes. But uh, we were on time and everything, but the car is not starting. Yesterday was kind of giving us problems and today it's like broken. I, I don't know. I think it needs it's, a new battery. It needs, it needs a new battery. Yeah, it's been doing it for a while, but we will like turn it on and then it will charge again and the battery will, you know, we'll give it a couple more weeks. But it's dead. Yeah, so um, I just postponed his doctor's appointment for a little bit later. Because he loves me. We were finally able to fix the car. Well, actually not really. All you did was get someone, like your friend, to come over and jumpstart the car. They're gonna check him. We have like a couple concerns about him. The one is the rash in his cheeks. Another one, he's had like this lump on his leg for a while. I was reading online, like a lot of people, a lot of babies have a fat abscess or something like that it's called. Could be. Yeah, Don't but so. we just want to make sure, you know, it's something, nothing else. Oh, I did, cause, um, like his birthday is gonna be very simple, but we're gonna do the weekend theme. So I made him like a little the weekend sign for his birthday. <laughs> He's gonna be uh, the motherfucker star boy. Hey there. I'm gonna get the black finger finger. Okay. Can you wash your name? What did you do? You cried? Um. I was scared when when they okay, poked nice. in myself. Okay. Was hurting and it burned. Yeah, because you love touching everything and then touching your face so you can get the virus and eat it. Right, Bolita? Yeah. It's your favorite? Yeah. You love eating viruses? Yeah. They taste so good or what? 
This is good. Mmm, delicious virus. How are you, Victoria? Yeah, no thanks. No thanks? No. I tell you, wait, no. The motherfucker is not real. <laughs> He's not real? I tell right? you, wait, no. The motherfucker is not real. <laughs> Karen has watched that video way too many times. <laughs> they already learned it. What what was it called? They never knew. Oh, that's the crazy plane lady. I know the crazy plane lady, but a lot of people believe that she actually did see something she might that was have. not real. I don't know. That mother back there is not real. Speaking of, you guys, we had another incident at the house, the haunting. What happened? Um, we've been trying to get to find a house, but we haven't found anything we like. But it was a couple nights ago that I was in the room. Oh, dude, the that girl, story. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, so um, I was in the room on the computer, and then I go outside. Um, hey, I, night. Everyone's yeah, sleeping. Yeah, everybody's sleeping. And I hear Enrique going, Victoria, Victoria, stop the in, which in, in English is Victoria, Victoria, are you okay? And, um, well, I got up from the computer really quick and I went to go check and Enrique was on his computer. And I asked him, I was like, what, what's wrong? Did, were you just saying right now, like, Victoria, is Victoria okay? And he said, no, I've just been on the computer this whole time. So that kind of freaked him out and freaked me out too. Like, I, you Now let me tell you my story. Not even an hour after that. I I'm, I was laying down in the, in the couch now, so I was ready to go to sleep. And then I hear all Victoria saying like, no, no, no. Yeah, just like that, like, no, and then screaming. I just like jump out of the couch, run to her room. She's sleeping, fast asleep. So I yeah. start touching her back and I'm like, Victoria, are you okay, Victoria? And she uses. Well, why did I hear her scream no? And that's why you slept in the living room that night because yeah. I remember you said I just want to be close to the kids just in case something happens. We just got done with his appointment so apparently everything's fine. Um, all the things we had concerned like it was nothing. And then they gave us this paper. Look at how tall he is. He is 99 percentile. And then his head is only 76 percentile. It's not that big. Shout out to Barbara. I was talking to her on Instagram the other day. She was like, oh, and also say hi to Maximo. That little baby looks like three years old already. <laughs> he is. He's almost the size of Bolito already. He's really big. Yeah, he's a, he's a he's, big boy he's dog. He's a radioactive baby. Remember? Ra yes. We told you. He's the Hulk. Seriously, he's the Hulk. He got radiation when he was in the womb. And now. mold. And mold and retinol. Yeah, and retinol. So that all those three, if you want a big, healthy you baby, baby, you got to Go get radiation, <laughs> go get retinol, and go to a uh, fungus house. Fungus house. Uh, yeah, we'll get a big home. baby. Of course, we're kidding, but um, for those of you who haven't followed us that long, that everything that we mentioned happened to me while I was pregnant. Can I mind? for his haircut. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, that, that, that's the He doesn't one. have it that long in the back, so. Pistol Max. Hassan. 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 to you guys why we gave him the Peso Pluma haircut. We don't necessarily love Peso Pluma, but Peso Pluma has been very important to us lately because he has helped pay our bills. <laughs> so I'm sure you guys have noticed how I keep dropping hints about my Etsy um, throughout the vlogs and I haven't shared it yet just because I wanted to add more things on there. But I think the time has finally come to share it with you guys. And the reason I mentioned Beso Pluma is because one of my top selling products on there are these two Beso Pluma uh, birthday invitations that I made. I've been working so hard on this Etsy, night and day. Like whenever I have any free time, I've been uploading stuff on there. I have anything from mugs, I have shirts, I have invitations, I have birthday posters now. Right now I'm still trying to find my niche, but doesn't want to be part of this anymore. Right. 
Just want to uh, put this Mickey Mouse name in this. <laughs> so as I was saying, I've put in so much work on my Etsy store and I've designed each and every single product myself and I've put in a lot of love into every single one of these. It would mean so much to me if you guys would check out my shop. I'll have it linked down below. And if you're in the financial place to purchase something, know that it helps us way more than you think. And also, if you're not in the ideal financial situation, which of course we understand, I actually made a product that's only 95 cents, which is for digital prints. They're these ones actually. There's another two that I have, but we just like went and printed these out. They're eight by 10 and you can like hang them up in your home, whatever you want. I basically made those just for anybody who wants to help. Like I wanted something affordable because it's not so much about like getting sales. Like yes, my end goal is to, you know, have a successful Etsy store that brings in a lot of customers and I make a lot of sales. But right now what helps my shop more than anything is getting reviews. Like reviews are crucial for an Etsy store to be successful. And right now, like I have 50 58 sales, which is pretty good, not having advertised it or anything, but what helps it the most, like I could have so many sales, but if I don't get reviews, it's not, like my, my store will just, it will just not be recommended as much. Right now I only have three reviews. If you do end up getting the 95 cent product, know that that also helps us so, so much. And it doesn't even have to be like a super long review, like even a smiley face is fine. Like just having that, having those reviews just really really is gonna help out you guys and if you do end up purchasing something let me know message me on instagram or tell me on here so i can personally thank you guys and if you end up getting like some kind of physical product like a shirt or a mug take a picture with it because i want to see it and i want to repost it on my instagram i'm honestly just so so excited to see people wearing things that i designed myself like that is so cool to me don't forget to check it out thank you guys so much for listening i don't want to bore you anymore with my little ad our like today's sponsor is basically Sponsored by us today. <laughs> so let's get back to the video. Hola! Maximo's first friend ever. His cousin Dieguito. My cousin is about to do Karenis lashes. That's a birthday, late birthday present. Birthday? That's mucho. ¿Qué es lo que ocupas? No soy yo, Karenis. ¿Sí quién? No soy yo, Karenis. Aclarando nomás. ¿Qué está pasando? Agarré. Ya que se la sé yo y la dejo abrir un ojo. ¿Puedo abrir un ojo? Sí. ¿Me la vio Kay, bro? Over here we have Clockwork Orange. ¿Cuál otro? Okay, it's just a little break. She's eating pizza. Uh, I think I like this side better. What? Just kidding, of course not. Oh, what? Just kidding. I like. Oh, shit, was the right answer? Was the right answer? I don't know. There's no PB in it, bro. But there's jelly inside. Yeah, it's choco jelly. And um, a cream cheese chocolate ganache frosting. I'll be creaming on my cake all the time. Oh. Mm. Ah! <laughs> That's when you have your husband make the smash cake. That's what happens. I'm going to put little poops in the corners too because I have a bunch of chocolate that's over. What do you think hey! of the cake? Oh. We're currently at the neighbor's house. This guy right here. They have yes. the same birthday as Max. A couple days apart, but um, celebrating since on the we weekend. Didn't really throw a party for Max. It's like you know we got a free party. <laughs> okay, well, like oh yeah, check it out. Victoria. Okay, what are you doing, girly? 
What are you doing? I'm painting. Uh-huh. What are you painting? That's a snail? Mm-hmm. Una, dos, three. I want to go in there though. Go for it. You got it, yeah. Okay. It's, a, it's a cute dress. Um, you can use my code. <laughs> Vecino, what do we have here, bro? We got fajita reynosa. Uh -huh. It's fucking made. It's really good. Pura calidad. Pura calidad. Look at it. Que chille. Que chille. Bueno, que taquitos. Ni estás haciendo nada. Como no, sí. Pensé que iba a ser algo impresionante. Pero nada para que vieras para ti, Max. ¿A qué se va a comer esto? ¡Sácalo, sácalo, sácalo! ¡Ay, mi Dios! ¡Ay, mi Dios! ¡Ay, mi Dios! ¡Ay, Justo fui por la cámara y se cayó, pues qué chingado. Ya no pasó nada. Bye bye. Find the way. Máximo. I did it. I did it. Happy birthday, helmet head. The consensus over here is he did not like the smash cake. No. Nope. Oh, yes, look at that. You want to open presents? Okay, yeah. here we have present number one from, from one, one of you, our subscribers. From this. <laughs> Max, say thank you, Aunt Azzy. Okay. He loves it. Olivia is doing the honors of opening the second present. He yeah. got a pyjama! Spider-Man pyjama! Max Hebner? Yeah, Max Hebner! Wow! Where the hose at? Mom, what are you doing to that baby? <laughs> For those of you who didn't know, uh, my cousin and her husband actually live with my mom. So in the same house, it's just uh, my mom is on the second story. They're on the first floor. So that little baby is basically mm -hmm. like her grandchild. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So I was uh, paying attention to it and my mom will sometimes not pick up this, but she will pick up the other guy, kid. And I was like, wow. And then at some point she was pick she was carrying both. Uh -huh. And she was like, okay, they're, so they're too tired. And she's like, can you help me with this guy? And she gave me this. But like, wow, the disrespect. <laughs> she, they, don't, they don't speak English, so. It's okay. Huh?
I cannot hold it in anymore. I just want to, you know.